Alright, hello, my name is Jason Welsh, and today we're going to be looking at a quick way to attach things to a player. Okay, so if I was to do this, say I like that helmet, it's pretty cool. I want to wear it in a multiplayer game or a single player game. Bam, top of my head. Okay, so how'd I do that? That's what's in this lesson. Till then. Okay, so first off, you got to pick out something you want to wear. I picked out this stylish skull thing. I wish I got to. Now I got to figure out how to make a mirror so I can see myself. But other than that, uh, the skull thing, this helmet, they're all relevant to the pitch and yaw that you have to kind of uh, set for yourself. And pitch and yaw is one of these very older terms. I don't know. It's uh, it deals with navigation. Uh, it's kind of like I have to show you just to kind of explain what it is. Okay. So first off, I'm going to delete everything I got. That way, I'm not cheating. Okay. And I'm going to use this switch that has nothing on it. Now. No, I'm going to break a brand new one because I'm not sure of that by now. Let's see, add a trigger. Okay, trigger's good. Uh, pick out something you want to wear. I picked out COG Gore, this uh, skull. And the way I do this is it doesn't really matter what you pick. Uh, I'll show you how to, you know, where to look for the bones and how to find those bone names. Okay. Another thing, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to straighten it out because it's rotated like this, and I know the rotations for this for the video. Uh, you could pretty much figure out the rotations, but I just know these numbers. So what I'm going to do is rotate it so it's this way on my map, and I guess it would be facing X. Here's my little X. I'm facing it in X. Okay, so that's done. It's facing in X. Uh, next thing I gotta do is write some kismet, or some draw some kismet if that's the case. And this is what I want to draw. Okay, so I got trigger, and that's going to be uh, the touch and then add action actor attach to actor okay pick the little skull guy don't forget when you insert that it's interpol actor okay that's a big big huge part of it so don't get all flustered if it don't work if you click on it See, Interpol actor. Make sure you have that. Not rigid body or static mesh. It won't work. Okay, so the attachment's going to be here. My veritable is going to be Marcus, and it gets plugged into my target and instigator and in. Just like that. Okay, now my attached to actor, what I have to do is I, figure, I have to figure out my bone. Okay, I know it by heart, but I'm just going to kind of go in here and show you how I got it. COG Marcus Phoenix, find its animation, go to the animation viewer, zoom in on his head, or whatever bone you're attaching it to, bone, bone name, and you just zoom in. This is BMF head. Now there's BMF head and BMF face. One's a little easier to attach to. Um, let's see. BMF face is the one that's easier to attach to. Reason being, BMF head is um, not of the same rotation. 
it's hard to explain. Uh, yeah, BMF head. So B underscore MF face. So BMF head is got a weird rotation on it, but BMF face seems to be up and down a little bit better. So now I can use relative offset and relative rotation for it. And I know the pitch in yaw. So if you really think about it, if you take a cylinder and you roll it on the table, that's rolling it. Yawing it would be to spin it around. And to pitch it would be just to tip it up and down. So that's how that goes. So 180 degrees in yaw and 90 degrees in roll. And the relative offset um, for Z, I found 4 works rather well. Again, this is all adjustable. So Z is in you know, front of you, uh, Y is on top of you, so up and down, and X would be right and left. And these can go negative too. Alright, so let's see. Kismet's done, face is done. Alright, should be good to go. Uh, maybe make this so it's visible and play alright so here we are and you notice I didn't have to worry about you know putting it anywhere close to him it could be on the floor it could be anywhere in the level as soon as I click on there bam it gets attached Okay, and now I can see that my um, offset in Z needs to be a little bit greater because it's, it's, it looks to me that I could still see his face. And it probably had to do with me not clicking up there. I was just on there still and I hadn't modified it. So I'm going to build it. And try that one more time here. Okay, a little bit forward. So if you gotta go forward in space, I'm gonna try six. It's a little bit better. Again, I wish I had a mirror. I'll try seven. If you're trying to do the helmet, it's Z four. Okay. And I'm going to scale this just a little bit. There we go. Yes, you can scale it. That means you can run around as a bobblehead if you wanted to. Oh, that's cool. That's perfect. It even covers over a little bit of his face on the other side. So if I saw that coming at me in a multiplayer game, I would be like, how the heck did he do that? I guess I spoiled that, though, didn't I? So enjoy the lesson and until next lesson maybe we'll cover some better physics yes and uh, all kinds of craziness that I've been working on alright so have a good one and until next lesson